However, he was right about one thing. Octopus dicks. Aristotle, one of the greatest thinkers the world has ever produced, got a lot of fundamentals wrong. He believed that the material world could be summarized by four elements, water, fire, earth, and air. He was wrong about the fundamental forces of motion as well. However, he was right about one thing. Octopus dicks. That's right, centuries before modern scientists could confirm it, Aristotle took time out of his busy schedule thinking about metaphysics and shitting on democracy to learn that the male octopus can use one of his arms as a dog. In his foundational book on zoology, The History of Animals, Aristotle puts octopus and squid as creatures belonging to the lower end of natural complexity. But alas, he was wrong about this. As it is widely known today, octopi, octopuses, octopodes, whatever the plural is, along with cuttlefish and to a lesser extent squid or squids, are some of the smartest creatures on the planet, with remarkable abilities when it comes to problem solving, dexterity, and camouflage. And I'm still not fully convinced that they're from Earth either. They have a sort of alien-like appearance that break nearly all the rules that you typically think of when you consider that of an intelligent animal. They're not mammals or even vertebrates. They belong to the group cephalopods or cephalopodes. No fur, they don't have milk, they don't take part in raising their offspring, and oftentimes they even die after reproducing, and their life expectancy is only about one to two years. On top of that, nearly two thirds of their neurons are not even in their brain, but spread out in a quasi decentralized manner. So I guess you could say that one of his arms acts as a limb, a dick, and a brain all at the same time. I told you it was weird.